What's up, buds? Mac is blind, and today I'm gonna walk you through the new spaghetti storyline that came with the new update yesterday. You're gonna need six thousand five hundred fifty dollars to get you through the storyline. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys. First thing you're gonna need to start off, you're gonna make sure you need the you have the executive outfit. Make sure you have that, or the CE or the um, CEO outfit, which both can be found at the clothing store in town. So after that, let's head to the bank. Alright guys, so you're at the bank. Make sure you get there before 5.30 p.m. Um, so that's when the bank closes since, and this is where our spaghetti guy can be. Also make sure you have at least a thousand dollars on you, which if, and if you don't have it, you can either go ahead and make it real quick from doing like a lot of other mountain races or take it from the ATM if that's where you store your money. That's it. Alright, now I'm going to chat with the guy. I'm trying to get a loan from my spaghetti based startup. The bank keeps saying that my idea isn't economically viable or whatever that means. All I need is a thousand dollars. If only I knew someone with that kind of cash. You look pretty successful. You must have a lot of business experience. That I do. <laughs> you want do you want to invest a thousand dollars in my spaghetti business? Sure. You won't regret this. With your help I'm gonna revolution revolutionize the spaghetti industry. Come with me and I'll show you something. So he's going to go ahead and show us his facility uh, where he's making the spaghetti and stuff. This is where I'm going to start my spaghetti empire. It doesn't look like much now, but I'm going to turn this place into something special. Come back tomorrow and I'll have the, bus uh, the business up and running. So what we're going to do is we can go ahead and just fast travel home. Alright guys, for step two, we're going to move the way to the electronics store. Um, we want to go ahead and buy the cellular phone, which will be $2,000 basically. Uh, how do I buy it? Let's see here. The cellular phone allows you to make phone calls from almost anywhere. It's like living in the future. You want to buy it for $2,000? Yes, I do. I love your new cellular phone. This bonus it also comes with 300 complimentary cellular phone minutes. When you need more minutes, come to me or talk or call 555-6469. And to help you remember that number, I'm also throwing in a free book. So it's going to be like a contact book, a phone book, or whatever. Important phone numbers will be added to your phone number book automatically when you call them. That's everything. Enjoy your new cell your cellular phone. Great job, buddy. Alright. So we got that, and now we're gonna make our way to the spaghetti place. Go away. <coughs> we're gonna make our way back to the spaghetti place, which is just up here in the tower. Um, if you know where the suit is, it's right here. So now we're gonna chat with our guy. Well, if it isn't my favorite investor, I'm still waiting for my first customer, but I'm sure it won't be much longer. My phone will be ringing off the hook once word of, of mouth starts to spread. So I told you to get the cellular, the cellular phone because we have to call him before we can make our next, um, before we can make our next investment. So that phone number is 555-7724. And a moment I'm not entirely sure, but I think that everybody has the same phone number. It really is. Oh, right. I'm going to make sure I can turn it up so we can uh, see what they're saying. And so we don't have the internet up, the words get blown. You've reached Spaghetti Hotline. We deliver spaghetti directly to your location for only 100 bucks. Would you like to place an order? Of course. That sounded like you just nodded your head, so I'll assume that's a yes. <coughs> the, spa the spaghetti has been dispatched and will be arriving at your location shortly. Please stay in the nearby area so our delivery technician can locate you. So you want to move out the way. Oh, it's you. Congratulations, you're my first customer. Here's your, here's your spaghetti, piping hot and fresh. So, here you got your spaghetti. You can even shake his hand, grab his hand. Didn't expect a handshake. Thank you. You've got a very strong grip. I might need to see a doctor about this. <laughs> you know, it's customary to tip delivery driver. Please remember that for next time. By the way, I've got a new idea for how to grow the business. Come, come and visit me, and I'll tell you all about it. So, we have our spaghetti, and uh, now we're going to go to And for this, uh, you're right. After you do that first, with, uh, that first investment, you might want to keep ten thousand dollars on you after that. So, okay. ten thousand. Nope. Alright. 
if it isn't my favorite investor. I'll be honest, the business is not doing well so far, very well so far. But don't worry, I know exactly what the problem is. It's the sign out on the building. Uh, it's the sign on the outside of the building. People think my business is a joke. If I had money for a new sign, I'd be seeing way more customers. So can I have $500 to improve the business? Sure. Thank you. You won't regret this. Come back tomorrow and I'll have it ready to go. So yeah, we got that. Now we can go ahead and... Alright guys, one quick tip before we go and make our next investment. I would definitely consider getting the studio apartment so you can just get to and find the spaghetti facility really quickly. Um, it's only four fifty a down deposit and fifty dollars a day. Of course if you can afford it, go ahead and do that. Also, very well so far. <laughs> Don't worry, I know exactly what the problem is. I need a better way of storing my ingredients. Right now, all, right now, my ingredients go bad almost right away. A fridge would really solve that problem. So can I have a thousand dollars to improve the business? Of course you can. Thank you. You won't regret this. Come back tomorrow and I'll have it ready to go. <coughs> so we'll just basically replace it with this. And collect a bit of money. Alright guys, come back in the morning. Got up. These cheap folding tables can't support the weight of the spaghetti. They keep collapsing every time I make an order. It's a disaster. So that's why they're stuck everywhere. <laughs> if I had a new if I if I had new kitchen countertops, I could make a lot more spaghetti and a lot more money. So who can I have the a thousand dollars to approve to improve the business? That's a terrible grandma on my part, sorry. <laughs> Um, thank you. You won't regret this. Come back tomorrow and I'll have it ready to go. Okay. Okay. Made the investment. Go home and start the day. You can also work to get some money. Really yeah. We'll be back. I have bottled water from, from the gas station to boil the pasta, but it's very expensive. If I had a sink, the spaghetti would be much cheaper to produce, which means more profits. I suppose I could wash all the like this, I could wash the dishes once in a while too, although that might impact the flavor. <laughs> I'm so glad there's no health department in South Squatch because we'd be very big trouble. So I can have five hundred dollars to improve the business of Thank you. You won't regret this. That's right. These microwave are these microwaves are just too slow. It takes almost an hour to boil my spaghetti. Plus, the tomatoes keep exploding, and half my day is spent cleaning the inside of the microwave. If I had a gas range, things would be a lot quicker and a lot cleaner. Alright, I trust it. So, can I have a thousand dollars to improve this one? Thank you, you won't regret this. Come back tomorrow, and I have a ready to go. So, as we go, so let's go through a few of our upgrades so far. One, this facility itself. We have our countertops, our muscle stand, and the tables, and we have our fridge. So the next time, uh, he'll have a stove of some sort right there. Mm. Alright, make our next one. The fumes from the gas range have been making me dizzy and extremely nauseous. I really need a ventilation system installed to get some fresh air in here. I could make a lot more spaghetti if I wasn't constantly passing out from the fumes. Ooh. How did you survive that? <laughs> so we need to give two thousand dollars. Thank you. You won't regret this. Come back tomorrow, and I'll have it ready to go. All right. Well, uh, I guess there's still another opportunity for me to die today. But anyway, let's come back tomorrow to see. Okay. Let's see what his next problem is. It takes too long to make the spaghetti sauce. Right now, I put the tomatoes into a bucket and crush them with my feet, but it takes forever. If I had a cutting board and some knives, I could slice them up beforehand and save tons of time. So can I have five hundred dollars? Sure can. Thank you. You won't regret this. Come back tomorrow and I'll have it ready to go. Okay. Bye. Problem. I was watching television the other day and I saw this thing called a spoon, which seems pretty handy. Up until now I've just been stirring the sauce with my hands, but I keep getting burned. What is this? Guys IQ negative 100, what the hell? <laughs> With the less dangerous method of, of stirring the sauce, I can make a lot more spaghetti. Dude, 
How do you not know what a spoon is? Can I have 50 bucks to improve? Yes, I have at least 50 bucks. Come back tomorrow and I'll have it ready to go. Guys, we are on our final day. So let's go ahead and cash up. And our money sign like it was earlier. So you get your money then because it'll automatically get rid of the money so it can start over because there's no space in the cash register for the new profits. I uh, hope that makes sense. And let's chat with him. Well, if it isn't my favorite investor, thanks to you, I was able to revolutionize the spaghetti industry. There's absolutely nothing else that could improve the business now. It's perfect. Wait here a minute. I want to show you something outside. Okay. Let's see what this is. I really appreciate everything you've done for me. I couldn't have done it without you. I want you to have something very near and dear to me. He was going to need his spagooter. My old spagoot. It's got me through some tough times. Enjoy. So yeah. Guys, thanks for watching the video to the end. I hope this helped you out with doing the storyline. If you like playing gaming content, go ahead and subscribe. Um, if you like this video and it helped you out, go ahead and give it a like. If you want more quality content, go ahead and check out the channels I'll link at the end. Sin um, Sinopio and Modern Bioplane Gaming. They do really good content. Go ahead and check them out. I'll link them at the end. Once again, thanks for watching. If I missed something, put in the comments down below so you can help other people out. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.